Idaloo Holiday Class 2A playoffs. Brandon Wright draws the walk from Hayden Davey right here. That will force in a run. Then more problems for the Wildcats on the defensive side of the ball. Bailey Broyles hits into a potential double play. Mishandled at second base. Throw goes wide. Holiday scores another run. On the mound, Braden Boyd solid for Holiday. Right here gets a strikeout of Cleet Smith. Holiday more damage at the plate right here. Logan Allen rips a ball to center field over the head of the outfielder. That will score another run. Holiday takes a 4-0 lead. Idaloo trying to get back in it. Botch double play. Runners at first and second for the Wildcats. Then Bo Howard shoots a shot through the infield. Scores a run but will not be enough. Holiday takes game one from Idaloo, 7-3. Monterey Cleburne class 4A playoffs here. Nice catch in center field by Evan Brake. Doubles up the runner then at the plate. How about Evan Gaylor with a nice bunt right here. Runners in scoring position for the Plainsmen. But Blake Walden right here grounds into the 5-3 double play to end the inning. Success at the plate here for Cleburne. Garrett Buckner rips an RBI up the middle. Cleburne forces game three with a 5-2 win over Monterey. Then Mother Nature makes her presence known right here. Long rain delay forces Cooper Liberty Hill to Saturday. Other games, though, would continue. Friendship Alito class 4 Hunter Douglas right here. Really nice bunt. Puts runners at first and second for the Tigers. Then Jake Saylor right here, ground ball deep enough to second base. That will score a run, giving Friendship an early lead. Then a wild pitch way up in the zone. Pass ball, that will allow Chandler Casey to score. Then Friendship more success right here. Chase Sarchette rips the ball. That will bring in another run. Friendship up 4-1. to one. Alito, though, responds right here. Dakota Durant rips the ball to the outfield. That will score two runs. Alito takes this game in extra innings, 5-4. to four. They'll play another one Saturday. Over to softball, Coronado playing for a trip to state. Monique Garcia rolling on the mound at the plate. More success. Caitlin Dawson rips the ball just short of the outfield fence, heads to second base, and then shortly afterwards, teammate Tegan Kirk, the catcher, rips the ball. That will drive in a run. Coronado takes a 2-1 lead. Garcia continuing the roll on the mound for the Mustangs, gets another strikeout right here. And then how about the nice defense? A deep hit ball to center field, going to be chased down by Kaylee Marshall to prevent any runs from scoring. Coronado now needing some insurance, and they're going to get it in the form of this. Caitlin Dawson, yard work, drives the ball deep over the center field fence. Coronado takes a 3-1 lead, and they win this game. A very excited J.J. Johnson. They'll play for a trip to state tomorrow in game two.